Hello everyone, this is me Satya here and I'm doing your uh, third week of November reading start from the 15th through the 21st of November 2019. This is going to be for the sign of Scorpio. So let's see what's coming up for Scorpions for this uh, week which has already started today. So yeah. Uh, while I'm shuffling the cards, let me remind you it's a general reading. It may, it may not resonate with everyone out there, so pick whatever resonates and leave the rest. For a personal reading, you can always reach out to me on my email ID in the description box. Follow me on Instagram where I do upload daily readings. So yeah, the link to that is also in the description box. So let's begin. Let's see. The Magician. Somebody is definitely manifesting someone. It can be you, it can be the person that you are dealing with who is manifesting you. Or somebody that you have been thinking a lot about and maybe if you have no communication with that person, that means that person is pretty much influencing your energies. Like, you know, that person is manifesting you in their life. Or um, if you are thinking of this person, you know, um, randomly, like, you know, if, if you're sitting and you have a thought about a certain person and you know that this person is interested in you, that person might be, you know... Um, um manifesting you in their life very strongly but uh whoever it is it's not uh in a negative way like whoever it is that that is trying to kind of you know have you in their life or you know uh to maybe rekindle things with you or maybe you know if somebody new is coming in your life this person whoever it is is definitely pretty much interested in you and they really want to have a future with you it's it's not somebody who uh want to misuse you in any way I feel like it's um, it's definitely something uh, long term that they see uh, with you and that's exactly why they are trying to manifest you in their life. So yeah, it, it's pretty much there like the manifestation energy. But again, it's all for, for all the good reasons. It's like, you know, this person doesn't have a bad intention for you. Uh, or if you are manifesting somebody else, you don't have bad intention for that person. You really want to give them love. You really want to give them care really want them to be loved and to be protected to be the uh you know taken care of and that's the only reason why you are doing this all because you really feel like you can love them uh you know you can definitely love them uh more than they can be loved by anybody else in their life so yeah i'm gonna include both these cards here so nine of souls pair up with the ten of cups underneath the deck you do have uh the the world underneath that page of pentacles underneath that page of wands underneath that eight of swords underneath that the tower underneath that the wheel of fortune okay for for some of you you might be dealing with the prize Pisces as well um because of the energies are under these cards, like a few of them uh, underneath that is pretty much the same as uh, as it was for Pisians. So, um, somebody is definitely thinking a lot. Um, Maybe you are thinking a lot about a person or they are thinking a lot about you. And it's like, um, you really wish to be in a happy relationship is what I'm thinking very strongly. This is exactly what you want. You really want to be in a happy relationship. You really want magic happens and, you know, everything in your life gets, you know, perfect when it comes to your love life. And... It's, it's like you're waiting for that magical moment where, you know, everything will fall into place and, you know, uh, you, you know, you close your eyes and when you open it again, you have everything, you know, perfect going on in your life. And it's, it's I feel like for, for some of you, I feel like you, um, other areas of your life is pretty much in control. Is like, you know, everything is working fine for you, your home life, your work life, your business, whatever it is that you are doing, you are keeping your family happy as in, you know, your parents, your siblings and all those things. Uh, but when it comes to your love life, you, you really want that magic, you know, you, you wish you had a magic wand maybe and you could, you know, just, you know, turn it and, you know, uh, 
switch everything to the perfect home life like you know um i really feel like you know you definitely want to have a have a happy home life you really looking for that that dream world that dream house the dream happy family and but it's um with nine of swords i feel like there is something that you need to leave behind is it your worry is it your um uh, past you know fears that that kind of you know haunt you um is it um it can be anything it's 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 just that you know you really need to let go of it whatever it is and and it's it's again like you know it came up very strongly in Piscean reading maybe it's it's you your energy it can be energy of a Piscean that you are dealing with it can be any other sign but I feel like you know it, if if it is somebody else then it is definitely your energy who is not happy with their love life and you really want some magic to happen in their life so so you know everything falls into place and I feel like with the ten of cups better better with nine of uh, you know swords I feel like you already have a vision of how you want it to be like you know you have this person in your mind you really have everything set for yourself and your mind but when it comes to you know execution of that mind plan that you have you get stuck there because you are unable to um take the action you are unable to take that you know move or make that move that will you know take you towards that person takes you towards you know making a move towards this person there is something which is which you need to let go of. There is something that you need to stop thinking and take action towards. Uh, let's pull to two more cards and I will take clarifiers if I will need to take after that. But definitely there is some something that um, you might be thinking of this person a lot. Like I said, you already know who you want to be with. But at the same time, you are not taking the action. It's like you really need that action to be taken uh, to get you what you want. But you are not doing that. You are not making the move. You are just, you know just closing your eyes and wishing and hoping that everything will you know just be all right one day so um but i feel like you really need to take that action because uh with the nine of swords you really need to um understand that you really need this you really desire this you really want to have it it's it's not like you know uh it's something that you cannot ignore for quite some time like it's it's not things it's not something that you can ignore any further i would say because i feel like you might have been ignoring it like your love life your your future when it comes to your love you might have been ignoring you know people in your life because you you felt like i don't want to be in a relationship but now you understand that fact that you really want that this is something you, that you wish for but it's like again you are not ready to take the action so you really have to um do that now because only then you can have it or the other way you can have it is if the person that you are dealing with, if the person that you are having on your mind, if that person is somebody intuitive, somebody uh, who uh, understands the, the vibes and all, I feel like, you know, that person is going to help you come out of it through uh, manifestation techniques, maybe through um, law of attraction techniques, maybe for, you know, through, um, you know, um, through, um, what we call it um true 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 what we call it um what's the word telepathy message Tele uh, telepathic message so yeah maybe they might be using that to to send you a message maybe through your dreams or through uh different means to to get their point of view to you to get their message to you so you could get inspired and you could understand that this person really wants the same with you for some of you you might not know that the, if the person that you are interested in if that person is interested in you or having a family with you or not maybe that is one thing which is stopping you so maybe for some of you you really need that push from the other person that you are dealing with because only then you would take the take the step towards this person because you feel like maybe this person is not there and maybe you don't you know you don't know if this person really wished to have a future with you now or not 
even if this person is somebody from your past or somebody that you have already known for quite some time now if if um, you have uh, if you have had a future with this uh, sorry if you have had a past with this person you might be confused if this person is ready and willing to have a future with you now or not maybe you feel like you ha they have already moved on or maybe you fear that you know because i did something wrong to this person maybe this person won't accept me now so you really need maybe that push from this person so you could go ahead but i feel like you really have to make the move for yourself is what i'm picking up very strongly because this is something that that you are thinking a lot about uh if in, instead of doing that if you could take the action if you could talk to this person if you could open the communication and talk to this person and then see for yourself what it is that this person wants then then it will be easy for both of you let's see two more cards please for scorpio Somebody is definitely manifesting you or maybe you are the one who is manifesting but I feel like you are the one who is being manifested in somebody else's life. That is coming up very strongly because the other person who is manifesting is the magician. Like, you know, that person is the magician and you are the one here. You are wishing and hoping that everything falls into place. But I feel like, you know, um, this person is going to push you to do what, what needs to be done from your end. Let's see. You've been thinking a lot about somebody. I feel like this person is definitely communicating to you through through your dreams as well. Or maybe you are communicating to that person through dreams as well. You are telling this person, please reach me out and you know, um, trying to tell them that you are missing them, but you are not expressing it openly, but you really want this person to know. Maybe you are the one who is trying to, you know, uh, send the telepathic message to this person because you don't want to, you know, hurt your ego in the process. And you really want this person to be the one making the move towards you. And um, I need that if you do have three of wands, it's like you, you are, again, like, you know, just like the Pisians, you are also waiting for things to happen. You really want something to happen that that uh, that can you know um, that that can bring you what you desire. But at the same time, you really have to understand that uh, whatever that that you are you know whatever that is stopping you from taking the action towards this person, you really have to take the action. You really have to make the move. Uh, like I said, like, you know, you really have to work towards making things better between the two of you. If the communication is less, try to communicate more with this person. Don't express your feelings there and then, but at least open the communication between the two of you. So you could, um, at least start talking, like, you know, uh, if you have not been in touch regularly, start getting in touch with this person regularly on a regular basis, try to know them better, try to make them understand that you are willing to be in a, in a, in a relationship with this person because i feel like you really don't want to sound so uh desperate but at the same time you are being desperate to be with this person so it's it's um it's just that you don't want to take the action let's see seven of wands two of pentacles seven of cups nine of swords again but there is definitely love you really want you really want this uh person you really want to have a family with this person is what i'm picking up very strongly but then again, like like I said, you are not ready to um, express your love to this person out of fears, out of uh, um, you don't want to be hurt, you don't want to be rejected. I don't see that this person is going to reject you. There is no point that this person is going to reject you, especially if this is somebody you have been with already. You really have to be strong. You really have to take the action. Um, because this is what you want. You really have to stand up for your desire and express your love to this person. But like I said, to be on the safe side, if you don't want to you know, just express it all when you text them up, then at least start talking normal to this person. At least be communicative with this person because only then 
you would be in a in a position where you both could take this relationship to the next level because otherwise i feel like you want this the other person really want the same with you but at the same time there is a block between the two of you which is i feel like you know there is this lack of communication which is basically being the reason um why you are not having what you both desire with each other I feel like um once you both are ready um you you will not have this fear any longer once you are ready once you are you know there and I feel like you know when when I'm saying like once you're ready it's it's more like um <sighs> once you're ready means like um pair up with the this card for the king of swords I feel like really this person whoever it is be that you or the person that you are dealing with if and once this person gets ready to face their emotional side they will come forward you know if it's you you will go forward with this per towards this person and you will express your love and feelings for it. you know everything you are going to speak your heart out with this person right now there is this you know healing going on there is this time that is going on for for you or the person that you are dealing with whoever this person is who is holding themselves back right now i feel like you know this person is um it's it's like um whether you talk to this person right now or not things are eventually going to fall into place for the two of you you're definitely going to get back with this person but um there is this healing that is going on you are soon going to you know uh come out of the fear that you are having and it can be brought um either you working on yourself and trying to figure out what is basically stopping you from having what you desire or the other person that you are dealing with if you are the one you know if you are a cross watcher and watching it you can definitely manifest this person in your life by you know by using scripting techniques or other techniques that that are available there of you know the law of attraction techniques you can definitely use that to man you know to manifest this person in your life because this person really needs a little push which they can get with the with the with law of attraction so it's it's um prayers affirmations can also work with this person's you know energy because i feel like you know whoever this person is whoever is being stubborn in this situation um who wants to talk and still hold them to back whoever it is like you or the other person that you are dealing with they really need that push that they really need that push and that push you can give that push to this person and now uh, uh you can definitely you know uh reach out to me for my services if you really want affirmations from me you can reach out to me for that but all my services are paid if you are ready to pay only then reach me out and now um, for scripting too my uh, my scripting technique is different from the one available online um and uh, it's more empowering as well so it's totally up to you you want to use those scripting techniques you want to use those affirmations it's totally up to you but um mine you know the one i am offering my you know affirmations are spiritually charged they work really fast and the scripting technique is totally different from the one available online so it's like you know it's totally up to you if you want my services you can always reach out to me for that if you are willing to go with the ones available online you can go for that as well but try uh you know our scripting and affirmations to uh bring this person in your life with open heart open communication and uh, all the things that you desire with him and or her uh, in your life so um because i feel like you know this person really needs a push that's it and if if you are ready to wait you can wait for this person to have that healing done if you really want to push things a little quicker then you can use the techniques so let's pull out one card from the romance and jericho cards to add more to this person's or your energy for this week uh time let's see what else is going on for you for this week time
children. Your love life is being affected by children. I don't see it's being uh, affected by being chil uh, by children, but it is affected by you being children, the two of you, because um, <laughs> you are being. Uh, um, it's it's like you know somebody is running away from from uh, you know uh, from what they have to face. Like you know, eventually you have to deal with it. It's like you cannot run away from it. You cannot run away from the fact that you want this and you really love this person. You have to face it. You have to act mature. You have to deal with it maturely. You have to have the acceptance towards what you desire, and you know have. Um, just embrace your feelings for this person rather than running away from it or trying to avoid it because there, this is something out of control. You cannot control love and feelings. Uh, you cannot stop your feeling in love for a person because it's, it's like vibe. You cannot kind of, you know, pack a vibe into something and, you know, just try to control it. It's, it, it never works. So eventually, I feel like you've had a past with this person already. And now, you know, it's like... Um, Things are finally coming to fruition. Things are finally coming to an end. Like, you know, the waiting part, the everything that has been happening between the two of you. It's all like, you know, it's everything is falling into place right now for you, to be very honest. But there is this, you know, little push that needs to be uh, done there to have what you desire, the two of you. So, yeah, your love life is being affected by children. I feel like it's more of uh, you being the children. So you really have to act maturely and accept it and... Um, yeah, just embrace the love that you have for this person and embrace this person being, you know, the way they are. So, yeah, that's pretty much it coming up for you for this week's time. If the reading resonates with you, do like, subscribe, and share. If you're willing to get a personal reading, you can always reach out to me for that on my email ID in the description box. Till I do the next reading for you people. Take care. Bye-bye.